Racing in second is Hawk Bill, and then behind these in third on the inside, the Gurkha with time test. They're both challenging for third and fourth. Next in the field is Bravery, then My Dream Boat, who was a little inconvenience there. Down to the inside is Western Him, as the runners now work back towards home inside the final half mile. It is still Countermeasure who leads the Eclipse field. From in second, Hawk Bill, then Time Test. Right in behind is the Gurkha. Then came Bravery, who's been ridden along. Western Him trying to move up into it, and then My Dream Boat. They're racing down towards the final two and a half furlongs. Countermeasure overtaken now by Hawk Bill. Here near side comes the Gurkha. A time test is now being ridden along back in a close third. Then countermeasure and my dreamboat is staying on the Gurkha and Hawkbill now join issue, racing towards the final furlong. Hawkbill to the far side, the Gurkha to the near side, little in it between the pair. Hawkbill just ahead, the Gurkha rallies to the cause, still nothing in it. Hawkbill though pulling out a half length inside the final hundred yards. Hawkbill just going on to win the eclipse. Hawkbill has beaten the Gurkha. Approaching the home turn with a half mile left to cover in the 2018 Coral Eclipse and Hawkbill leads them in. Uh, by length the Forest Ranger in second. Saxon Warrior with every chance third on the outside. Stalked by Happily. Roaring Lion coming widest in those uh, claret colours. Wombashi Murphy. Then Cliffs of Moa and Raymond Tusk. Hawkbill pressed by Forest Ranger. Saxon Warrior being shaken up. Roaring Lion travelling well on the outside. Coming through with his challenge now as they enter the final quarter mile. Saxon Warrior might just get to the lead from on the far side, Hawkbill. Here's Roaring Lion being driven hard as they race on to the final furlong up the hill. Saxon Warrior leads. Roaring Lion on the near side. Far side, Hawkbill. Roaring Lion getting his head down. Joining Saxon Warrior, racing up the hill towards the line. Roaring Lion near side. The Lion roars at Sandown and he wins the Eclipse. As they leave the Sandown Park, back straight behind them, Golden Horn still leads by three parts of a length. The Grey Gatsby won't let him get away. Now there's two and a half lengths back to Cougar Mountain on the inside A Western Him and Tullius now is about five lengths off the two dueling leaders, Golden Horn and the Grey Gatsby as they turn for home in the Coral Eclipse of 2015. It's Golden Horn on the inside of the Grey Gatsby. It is Frankie Dottori and Jamie Spencer now being ridden along Cougar Mountain in a share of third with Western Him and Tullius is still last. They have two and a half furlongs to go. Golden Horn now being earned for more by Frankie Dottori. The Grey Gatsby is right there now alongside as they race down with a full and a half to go. It's Golden Horn. The Grey Gatsby still can only get to his throat latch in second. Three lengths away. Cougar Mountain and Western him. Golden Horn battles gamely and now has pulled a length and a half over the Grey Gatsby. He's breaking his heart and it will be Golden Horn. A perfect five out of five. Then another five or six back to Steel Tango. See the stars on the end inside then from jukebox jury there the yellow jacket see the stars followed by rip van winkle jimmy fortune in the dark blue stalking the favorite seema to triumph further back twice over pushed along and conduit and now the pacemakers are likely to come back to the field and they're going to start stopping in front they're inside the three lang shining set sail malibu bay the principal's pulling wide sensibly here comes see the stars in the hands of mick canan and he's going to have to commit pretty early here as they run down inside the two see the stars chase now by Rip Van Winkle and here's Conduit the stair out wide under Ryan Moore unleashing his run see the stars will have to dig in Rip Van Winkle his old rival is closing up on the Guineas and Derby winner inside the final furlong see the stars by half a length to Rip Van Winkle he's beating off Rip Van Winkle they race up to the line see the stars this shining star see the stars wins the eclipse to El Drama as now they begin to make the sweeping turn back towards home. Adabe still has the lead. The lead is just half a length now to Mishrif in second and then about two lengths back to St. Mark's Basilica who gets a shake of the reins now from Ryan Moore. El Drama still at the back of the field as they race now inside the final three furlongs. Adabe now being urged for more by Tom Marcond towards the outside. Mishrif has travelled powerfully into the 
race. They come down towards the final quarter of a mile and Mishrif goes for home. St. Mark's Basilica, the three-year-old, will attack now towards the near side. And Dave tries to hang tough towards the far side. St. Mark's Basilica goes on with a furlong to go. St. Mark's Basilica going clear now by three widening lengths. Mishrif and Dave have been simply turned away. It's going to be four straight group ones for St. Mark's Basilica and a record equaling win for Aidan O'Brien, his fifth in the Coral Eclipse.